Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here with a brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday. Sean Bear today. They're going to go out today, see what the game out today, see what things are on sale. Today though, new release wise, the main big thing coming out today is Fast X. Uh, that's releasing. And I know there's a Best Buy exclusive steelbook for that one. I don't know if there's anything exclusive though at Target or Walmart for that one. I don't think I remember seeing anything. Like I said, I know for sure I did see a Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Also though, at the end of this video is going to be a bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews for some things I received, review, and talk about for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for those as well. But anyway though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. And there's all those people out front with those petitions. It's like, oh, those petitions. And then, ah, oh, the vein of my existence. So what you do is you go in the side door over here. See, they're all over there with the petitions. So I can see them all hiding over there. So we're gonna sneak in this door unless they lock it. Let's get ready. Let's sneak our ass in. Yep, that's how you sneak your ass in. And you can sneak out that door too. So, <laughs> but you, I know you guys like when I show myself walking in now, since I can't really show much in here anymore because there's always music playing in the actual section. They're doing some yeah. major renovations here now. See, like, I don't know what they're... Yeah, it's real torn up over here. Let's see, like, in, like, Kohl's and stuff, when they do that type of thing, they're putting, like, a Sephora makeup thing in there. I doubt they're putting a makeup thing in here, but I don't know what they'd be putting behind that. But we always show right here, this is where the movies used to be, and that's the book. So we can kind of see when things change. I see the... Um, Elliot Page book is gone. I think that was there, Page Boy. And then Master of Death, that might be a, a new one that we, I, I don't know, I, I just pay attention now to the books to see if I can tell the ones that have changed. But yeah, like I said, I don't know what is going on behind this. This is kind of interesting, this whole big thing. Yeah, let's see if you can like, see here's like, look, I don't know what all this means, but that's what it all is. Well, they actually have, for Fast and Furious, they have this stuff out today. The 4K is $32.99, but they have an exclusive Target one here. It has, like, a cool image in here of Vin Diesel. It's only a Blu-ray, though, but you can, like, change out the images to these art cards here for $28.99. But that's really cool. Other than that, though, that seems to be all the main new things that I see here today, though. Into Walmart we go. They still have some of these I wanted to show you guys. They put these out like a couple days ago. Some of them have sold out, but they're really cool. They have these retro uh, slipcover ones and they've done them for like the gate. The gate one's really cool too, uh, you know, and then it's like a mixture of Blu-rays and DVDs, but like Highlander, the Rambo collection, the Mist, Jurassic Park trilogy, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Hobbit trilogy, Ghostbusters, Back to the Future. I don't know if there's a Blu-ray of the Back to the Future one. I wish there was a Blu-ray of this ba uh, Beethoven. Tremor 7 Week Collection, Equalizer, Fast and Furious 1 through 4, Star Trek, uh, Battle of Galactical Complete, Complete, Complete Series, Galaxy Quest, Ninja Turtles. This is the five film collection of the original films. And then the Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch one's really cool. Uh, Rugrats, Bad News Bears, Popeyes, a uh, Popeye the Munsters one is really cool. I, I love the slip on that. Uh, Scooby Doo, Free Willy, Beethoven, Peanuts, and Land Before Time. So really cool ones. Now over here though, there are, here's the new things today. And I was wrong though, there is an exclusive. So let's see, there's a 10 movie collection here, which is all in one DVD. And then there's this one here, which is like a kind of like a book, the way it comes out. It's $34.99 and it opens up like this. So that's pretty cool. So that's actually a really cool one for this. And that one's, like I said, $34.99 for this edition. The standard 4K is $29.96. And then um, the standard Blu-ray is $24.96. And then what's this movie here? It's like a shutter one here. Oh, it's loose. Definitely not going to get that one. But what is this film? It's like something here called Leave. And it's, I don't know anything about this one. I have to look this one up and see, and see if there's a Blu-ray or not as well. But I think that one came out today, and that one's $9.96. And then uh, this one that was the prequel show to, um, you know, Yellowstone, that one's uh, 19, uh, you know, 23 on Blu-ray is $24.96, and then the DVD is $19.96. And let's see over here, anything else new here? Seems to be all the same things. And let's just check down here as well in this area. Uh, so I see a couple things. So this one here, Come Out and Fight's not, it wasn't put out. So I don't know what that one was, but they have 97 minutes, some Alec Baldwin one. 
Uh, and then Night of the Assassin. Oh, wait a minute, that came out today. Wrath of Becky, that's what I really wanna see. Let's see if there's a Blu-ray of that. I'm betting, I bet there'd be a Blu-ray, so if there is, I'm just gonna get it on Amazon. But I didn't know that came out today. I really wanted, I was, I was worried it wasn't gonna get a DVD. I was like, is it not gonna get a physical release? But yeah, that's the sequel to Becky. That I really, hopefully there's a Blu-ray somewhere of that today. I'm gonna look that up now to see, because if not, I'm gonna buy the that for sure. Yeah, so I ended up getting that uh, Wrath of Becky in there. It was only $9.99, and I was looking online, it doesn't look like there's a Blu-ray whatsoever for it. So it looks like only DVD of it. So I'm honestly glad that there's even a physical release whatsoever for it. But I really love the first movie. So really interested in seeing this because the first one was Kevin James playing the bad guy. This one's Sean William Scott as a, as a bad guy. I think it's only the second time he's ever done like a role like that. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to watching that. That's like, one, like I said, one of those things I was actually really, really wanting to watch. So I'm glad to see that one came out today. It's like the first thing in a bit that I've actually been like, I actually want to sit down and look at that. <laughs> look at that one. And I want to show you guys, I ended up going into another Target because I've been trying to find these came out and they're really rare these squishmallows you guys know i'm always looking for these the wallace one and see it ultra rare so i was able to find this really happy to have found this this is like so so rare so you guys know the bigfoot characters and this is the first time it's ever been like this color or anything so incredibly rare one cannot believe i found that in there into the second Walmart we go. All right, so we're gonna head back and see if there's anything different here at this location, so we shall see. Uh, it's a good thing though, the other one had everything out because this one, you can see, guys can see, they have the 4K, but they don't have any more of the exclusives or that collection that had all of them together as well. Let's see though, I do see over here, a oh yeah, so some of the ones that were gone, they have over here. So I think this is the one that was sold out at the other location, the Rambo, and then this Lost Boys 3 film collection as well. That was one of the other ones that we didn't see over there. That seems to, I think that was, and then the Ghostbusters, that might have been sold out as well at the other location. So let's take, quickly see too, if there's anything else over here. So we bought, I bought Wrath of Becky at the other location, but then this is the only other one that I see that came out today, this one uh, with Alec Baldwin, this 97 minutes. I don't know anything about this one though. If you guys have seen this one though, let me know how it was. It says from the executive producer of Plane and Midway. Yes, yeah, so like I said, I don't know anything about this. If you've seen this one, let me know how this one was though. Into Best Buy we go. Now, hopefully no one's scary coming after me. And like last time I park, or, you know, I usually park over there. Like I told you guys, you remember last Tuesday, that scary guy like was like following behind me and ran in after me and like just really scared, like scared the living sheet out of me, like so bad. So it's like, I don't even want, I don't even want to walk down that way anymore. But we'll see. Hopefully they have the stuff out in here today. We shall see. All right, so taking a look at everything, like I had mentioned, they do have a steelbook for Fast X, and it's it's cool because they kept it in the same style of the other steelbooks they've done with this kind of like same kind of color scheme and everything like that. This one is $35.99 uh, for, for the 4K, $32.99 for the standard 4K, $26.99 for the Blu-ray, and then they have, this is expensive, this set. This is the one if you want all of them together, the 10 movie set, $122.99, but it is all the movies together on 4K. So that's pretty cool if you guys don't have on 4K. But you got, but you know there's gonna be another one when they do the next volume. So technically, if you wanted to get like a full volume, it'd be better, honestly, to wait till like the whole series of films was out, then have like the ultimate, I mean, that's at least what I think, because they do these sets so many times that it'd be better just almost like to wait. But they also have a, a Blu-ray version for $83.99. So this 4K though only includes the 4K though. And then other than that, though, I see these Frozen Steelbook and then this Beauty and the Beast uh, Steelbook. I think these may be new ones. And they have the Ender's Game Steelbook here, the only at Best Buy one for $21.99, a Fearless Fearless Day Off. I think those were either this week or a couple weeks back. I can't remember for sure. Let's see. Over here, though, they have uh, Enter the Dragon came out today. And then they have the uh, Steelbook here, the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook for $32.99 for that one here. And then over here, though, let's see this 
anything else mixed in over here. As far as I can tell, uh, I see Moonhaven. I don't know if these ones were like this week, keep your hands off Igazukin. I don't know if they were this week or not. I'm trying to see if anything else I'm recognizing that's new. I think this 1923, uh, this was today for a $24.99. But other than that, though, that seems to be all the main new things that I see here today, though. So anyway, though, guys, that was all for my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Like I always say, if you guys enjoyed these shopping videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also, though, in the comments below, though, let me know what you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K if you guys ended up picking up anything today. Also, let me know anything new that you guys have watched on streaming or anything that you guys have seen in the theaters, if you guys have seen anything uh, recently as well. Anyway, though, now stay tuned for the brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews. And the first one I got here is from Universal, and this is a uh, Fast X. This is the 4K Ultra HD edition, which includes the 4K, the Blu-ray, and the digital copy. I will say I really love this one. You know, when it comes to the Fast and Furious movies, it's kind of funny. It's like I only started really watching them with probably like the fifth movie or so, and then I really started watching them. You know, I've seen every one since. But it was weird. It's like it took a long time for me to really watch these movies, and I really liked them. I've always been a fan, though, of Vin Diesel, and in this one, the villain is Jason Moore character and, and he like he plays it so crazy so over the top so sadistic I, I absolutely love the character like some people have like had some complaints because it's so nuts and it because it, it almost feels like a villain in like um in like Batman or something and it's like it's like almost like the Joker because he's so crazy there's even a scene with him and these people I don't want to ruin it if you haven't seen it but it's just like so like almost like you're watching a horror movie for like two minutes of the movie you're like what's going on with this and I love that I love it because they it's basically these movies have done gone on so long now they've just been doing weird things with them and i kind of like that they're just they just keep getting stranger and stranger the last movie before this they were in space i just feel like when you know with the next part of this i can't even imagine what they're gonna do they just have to keep topping these with just such weird things but they're such fun movies I, they're just basically escape films i really like them though uh it has on here though feature wise it has um over an hour of bonus features some look back featurettes you know like the locations and things like that but definitely worth checking out and really look forward to the the second and part of this. The next one here is from uh, Universal as well. This one's called Conadar. Same movie which stars Gerard Butler. This is basically though about him and his team. They were doing, you know, they were an undercover CIA team and they were doing like a mission out in Afghanistan. And basically, they end up getting their cover blown. And it becomes a whole situation of like they can't have help getting out. And it's a whole thing about how are they going to get out and kind of how's his character going to get out of this territory since he's been uncovered, you know, and been, been, you know, figured out that it's him and he's undercover and things like that. So basically, it becomes this whole living nightmare of him trying to get out and things like that here. The other one here, which is from um, Lionsgate, I want to let you guys know that was available here. And this is the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook. This is a movie that you don't hear about this one too much. And I remember it was one of those movies where I believe there was supposed to have been a sequel to it. It was kind of like um, with Diversion. I, that always kind of bothers me because I'm like, man, I wish Diversion got finished. And I know they go, well, you could read the book. I'm like, no, I want the movie to be finished. You know, And, and, and it sucks. I feel like that was one of the only times I can really think of a studio film that was meant to be finished that didn't. I know um, you know, Mac and Me was supposed to have had a sequel, but that was kind of one of those things where it did so poorly that, you know, you, you didn't really, it wasn't going to happen. But I, I don't know why with the Diversion it didn't. I always wondered that. And I know with this movie, it was set up for a sequel, which we'll never get, I don't think. But this is Ender's Game here. It's, I kind of liked it. It's like, it's not the greatest science fiction movie at, at all, but there were some fun characters in here too they were in the school and stuff like um, just like crazy stuff that was going on and stuff like that. I liked it. I remember really liking this one. You know, Ben Kingsley's in the movie here as well. Here's a look though at the um, the steel book in here. And I've been I've basically been doing these in the car because I watched stuff up until you know uh, Monday night late, and I just don't like doing the reviews in the house anymore. Sometimes I'm like exhausted, and I don't know. I just I just change things up. I like I like I'm like I'm trying to get out of my aspy ways of doing things the same all the time. So here's a look though inside of here. And everything because I, I just such a creature of habit. I like I like to change things up a lot more than I than I used to. I'm trying to like show myself you can do things differently. You don't have to do things exactly the same, you know, your whole life and everything like that. So yeah, yes, because somebody was saying like, oh, Sean, are you like you know li living in your car? It's like no, I just like doing the reviews in the car. It's like not this is how I do it. Anyway, though, the other one here this is from uh, Warner Brothers. They sent over a free copy. I just wanted to let you guys know that this one was available. And this is for variable for the very first time on 4K. Now, keep in mind, though, this only includes the 4K and not a Blu-ray copy as well, though. And this is um, the film, uh, Bruce Lee film, Enter the Dragon here. It includes the 4K and a digital copy of the film here as well. Now, on here, it includes the um, both the theatrical and special edition versions of the film. It has an introduction.
production by Linda, uh, Linda Lee Caldwell, and also has a commentary track on here by Paul Heller and Michael Allen on here as well. Like I said, one of the guys on this one was available if you guys were a fan of Enter the Dragon. The next one here, this is from... Um, from Paramount, and this is the, I think this is the third season, you know, it's it's not connecting to the other ones though, but the third, I believe the third season of the newer, you know, rendition of Are You Afraid of the Dark. I will say though, I, I, I really hope, and I would love them to do this for the next season, go back to the original formula, because I think kids would like just 20 minute episodes, like Goosebumps and all that, like in the original Are You Afraid of the Dark, where it's just 20 minute episodes, all you need to see is that you get a cool, scary story, and then you get another cool, scary story. Yes, it's more fun to make stuff like that too, I think, because this is Are You Afraid of the Dark, the Ghost Island, and I, I don't dislike this at all, but I really, really prefer the format of how they were doing this years ago with you know more just anthology episodes, just like each episode was self-contained, and then the kids would tell the stories by the campfire. And I feel like honestly, it was a better way, and I'm not sure why they don't go back to that and it's and I, and I feel like everybody's saying that and it's like why are you not doing that I, I, I can't figure that out if there's something with the that it seems too intimidating nowadays to sh pr produce a film I mean produce a show like that because you have to keep the quality up and I don't know if maybe it's too intimidating to produce a thing like that now. It's too much. I don't. I don't know. I, I. I thought it's. I mean, the production quality. Of this is great, though. That's why I would love to see it like this, but done with you know the thirty-minute long, you know, just single episodes, you know, instead of just a story. Because it's the, basically what they do is they're doing these now. The, the the formula that they went to with the very last season of the the series when they brought it back with Elijah Dusko. Was it Elijah Dusko? No, was, was it? Elijah Cuthbert was on Cuthbert was on it. That series that she was on, they they when they ended that, they ended it with a movie. There was like an hour and a half long movie with the main characters from that kind of in the episode. So they've kind of went in that formula for these. And like I said, I don't dislike it per se, but I just would love to see the original way again. I think that'd be more fun, and I think people would really embrace it more in that format. But still, really cool. Basically, it's about a group of kids that went on a um. A trip to this island and essentially there they realize on the island a bunch of weird things have happened like someone went missing in one of the rooms there and it's kind of they all start kind of investigating and things like that uh the other one here ones here is um it's from Warner Brothers. I'm sorry, this is from um, from Paramount as well. And this is the uh, 4K Ultra HD edition here. It includes the 4K, the Blu-ray, and the digital copy of the 70th anniversary here of Roman Holiday here, uh, the Gregory Peck, Aubrey Hepburn film here. And this one has a filmmaker focus on here with Leonard Maltin on, on um, Roman Holiday. It has Behind the Gates of uh, the Costumes, Rome with the Princess, Aubrey Hepburn, the Paramount Years, Dalton uh, Trumbo from A-List to uh, Blacklist, Paramount in the 50s. So a bunch of different featurettes, trail galleries on this one here as well the other one here this was a fun movie that, and I, I kind of I, I very, very very you know hardly remember the first film of this but this is buddy game spring awakening and this is you know directed by Josh Dermel and you know he stars in the film as well and Nick Swartzen is in the movie I really like the one guy the friend too he's always like a lot of TV and stuff and he's really funny it, it, it's basically though about um, you know the one friend um, you know that they did like kind of the buddy games with and always would do the reunions with he died um, you know uh, Dax Shepard's character dies in the very beginning of this movie so they kind of go to honor him and they kind of go for like the spring break kind of party thing and they get there and they're having like a buddy game thing so they kind of remember like I go oh we should go and do that so they kind of have to do buddy games with like this younger group of all these kids and it's all kind of crazy drinking and just kind of crazy really ridiculous stuff on here the other one here this is from Kino Larber and this was fun to watch and I you know uh, got to direct uh, Robert Carradine on my film that I did with Lauren Francesca uh, Pay to Die so that was really cool to direct him and what was cool is I didn't really I've never really seen him play a cop and then Pay to Die he plays a cop and this movie he plays a cop and I don't know if he played a cop in lots of other things but I almost feel like Pay to Die you could almost say is like a like almost like a sequel of his character and it's in a sense and this is a movie here called Number One with a bullet and this is you know stars Robert Carradine and Billy D. Williams and you know Robert Carradine if you don't know is I would say best known for Revenge of the Nerds but you know he was I guess a great to work with and this is basically about these two cops and what's funny too was you know uh, Carradine is like playing such a serious kind of guy it's so different compared to when you think of like him and Revenge of the Nerds playing this really goofy character and what's so funny too was this is shot in 87 he literally I, I believe went from either Revenge of the Nerds to 
to this or from Revenge of the Nerds 2 uh, or, or from this movie to Revenge of the Nerds 2. So he kind of like, I was thinking like, what was he doing with his hair? So he was basically just slicking it back and then putting on the, the nerd glasses. And I think that was kind of all he really had to do. Because, it, but it was funny. It was like, this was literally filmed the exact same time. So kind of interesting too, to think of this real serious hard ass cop movie and then Revenge of the Nerds 2 at the exact same time. But really fun movie. It has a comedy track on here from film historians Mike Leder and uh, Anne um, Arn Verma and a theatrical trailer on this one. And the next one here is from uh, Unearthed Films. This is one that I feel like a lot of people never thought would actually get a Blu-ray release here. And this is one of those movies too. I remember when this first came out, I, I actually had talked to the directors of this movie, uh, you know, the, these series of films uh, back in the day and they used to send me copies uh, to review really, really, really early on. I mean, like when these were new. Uh, same with like the Slaughter Vomit Dolls, some of those like out there crazy things. They used to send me them really early. Uh, so, but I remember when this movie came out, people were putting clips of it online and like making it like it was real, like death footage and stuff. People literally like believed it because the, the effects were so intense and like out there. This is the, the August Underground. This is Fred, Vogel, Vogel, Fred Vogel's uh, August Underground. And it's the first in the series of the August Underground movies. They did a bunch of different ones, you know, um, in the series, but to finally have that on Blu-ray is one, like I said, one of those things you never would think because these are just so, they're very, like I said, just be aware. These are incredibly violent movies. You kind of know what you're in for with these and they're done to, to seem authentic and real. So they basically tried to do everything they could to make these effects seem real. This seem like this is a real found footage, like death film, essentially. Uh, has on here though, the original screener version, feature wise, a commentary track on here with the director on an ultra violent magazine, commentary track with uh, Fred Vogel and the actors, uh, 10 questions with Fred Vogel, um, toe tag masterclass on here, uh, Dave Parker interview, uh, Dave Parker interviews Fred Vogel on here, and then also has the DVD as well uh, of the film. And the next one I got here is from uh, Via Vision. This is an Australian release here, and so glad to finally have this on Blu-ray. And this is uh, the first Wolf Creek film. And I love this movie. You know, they made the second film, and then they made a TV series, which was, I think went for like two or three seasons, I believe. In America, though, I think we only ever got a DVD of the first season. I don't think the I don't think the second one came out. I don't believe so. But, you know, th this movie, though, I remember so well seeing this in theaters and how much I li love this film. It's it's a really intense movie, basically about these backpackers that are going through all the Australian outback and basically come across, you know... Um, you know, John Jarrett's character, he played by, you know, his character's name is Mick Taylor, and basically he's this weird sort of hunter out in the Australian outback, and he basically sets his sight on hunting these kids. It's a, it's intense, crazy movie. Has on here the theatrical and unrated cuts of the film, has a commentary track on here, the making of Wolf Creek, uh, deleted scenes on here, storyboards, um, theatrical trailer on here as well. And then these ones here are ones I want to let you guys know that were available. Uh, these are from uh, Radiance Releasing, and this is one here called A Moment of Ro um, Moment of Ro Romance. And this is the brand new 4K restoration on here, and it has a rare interview with the director, a new commentary track on here with Frank DeJean, uh, visual essay by Asian cinema expert uh, David Desser on here uh, as well. Like I said, one of you guys know that this one was available. And the other one here is from Radiance as well. And this is a uh, three-disc set, and this is the um, the Casa. Um, no, no, the Rita, I, this is basically the Franco Nero and Three Mafia Tales by Na, uh, Damien uh, Damani. I, Dam, I think it's Damien Damani, but it's, so it's basically three Franco De, uh, Nero films. It has the cases uh, closed, forget it, how to kill a judge, and the day of the owl on here. And then it has, um, you know, uh, newly produced archival extras with cast and crew, including Franco Nero on here, as, as well as a book on here as well. Let me see if I can show you guys a look at the booklet in here too. Here's a look though, is a booklet with stuff about all the films that are in the um, the collection here. But then it's the three disc set. Like I said, it has, uh, you know, how to kill a judge, the, um, uh, the, um, the case is closed, forget it. And then the, um, the day of the owl one here. And then the last ones here, uh, this one was, is from, um, who's this one from? I know it's from MVD. I'm not sure the company that's releasing this, but it's one here called Oppenheimer, which is a documentary on Oppenheimer here. You know, the, um, uh, the film that's in theaters right now, this is a documentary on the real man. And then the last ones here, these are from uh, Mill Creek. And this is a, uh, a six movie collection here, uh, music and romance. And what's funny is I feel like 
I might be wrong about this, but I don't feel like two of these ones have ever been on Blu-ray before. But I, I think, it, but I may be wrong. It's it's a six movie set, but it has Connie and Carla, um, you know, Captain Coraline's Mandolin, Shout, uh, the Man Who Cried, the Caveman's Valentine, and Madame Suzuki Suzuka. The one that I, that I don't feel like I remember having Blu-rays of was um, Connie and Carla. And then the um, Caveman's Valentine. I don't feel like I... And I remember Caveman's Valentine, you know, with Samuel Jackson really liking that movie. That's a really, really great movie that you never hear people talk about. The last ones here are two stand-up specials from um, Mill Creek as well. And this one here is um, Alanya uh, Johnson Ray's here. And this one has um, Homecoming Show and Manilow and Goodnight on here. And then uh, Gary Owen, who I've seen in a bunch of different films. I think he was in like... Meet the Blacks, and a couple of different things, I believe. I think so. This is Gary Owen, a spotlight, and he, he has one here called Hashtag Doing It What? I'm sorry, ha, ha, no, Doing What I Do, and then Gary Owen Breaking Out of the Park on here as well. So two different specials on this one here as well. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. And like I always say, if you guys enjoy these videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. I'll see you guys later. Bye.